audience. I'm JJ or Burnt Pan, but used to hearing both, so call me what you like. I figured I might as well make a little introduction video because I've already posted a few videos and plan to post more. By the way, my audio was recorded completely separate from the gameplay you're watching because I want this video to be as intentional and concise as possible. Basically, I get too focused on the game when I'm live, as you might be able to tell in the usual videos. For some personal background, I've done a little bit of live streaming and content creation before, mainly with the game Brawlhalla, but back then I was a little too serious about content creation, so I didn't always enjoy it. At that time, I was in college, so I was balancing classes, tennis, part-time work, and a personal life. Now, I've got more of a steady job where it's easier to dedicate some after hours and weekends to making videos as the ideas flow. At least as I start, I'm not going to be focused on any special video editing or increasing my viewers. For the moment, I just want to focus on making videos, and if viewers come, great. If not, cool. Now I'll give some background for my virtual reality and augmented reality interests, which in turn will explain why I'm making videos for Dungeons of Eternity. I've always been super interested in VR and AR, ever since watching the anime Sword Art Online when I was a kid, and the interest has only increased from movies like Ready Player One and other cool concepts. I do think gaming is a widespread and amazing use of VR and AR, but I'm also excited to be an early adopter as it starts being implemented into different industries for other practical uses. But for a little more background, I did get the Quest 2 almost two years ago now after a friend had me try it out, and I made sure to get the Quest 3 as soon as the great reviews started circulating. From those two years of VR and AR use, here is my quick list of reasons why VR and AR are amazing. And I'm going to keep them uh, this list with no explanations, but feel free to ask. VR and AR are super fun. They can keep you in shape. It's only $250 for the Quest 2 and $500 for the Quest 3 in US dollars. You can connect to your gaming PC to run PC VR games, see unlimited monitors, float a screen in front of your face, control your desktop, and much more. It's an amazing form of content consumption, especially the Quest 3. It's super comfy, at least in my experience with the Bobo VR head strip, uh, plus the battery for extended standalone use. And IGN rated the newest AAA VR game 10 out of 10, which comes with the Quest 3, which is amazing. You can get store credit for yourself and a friend from buying the headset by using a referral link, and you can play amazing games like Dungeons of Eternity. And I do want to mention, Dungeons of Eternity is only available on the beta platform for the Quest 2 and the Quest 3, but hopefully that will change uh, and expand down the road. When I first got into the Quest 2, I did start with games that are supposedly must-haves like Beat Saber, Eleven Table Tennis, and Moss. They were amazing, but I wanted a more unique multiplayer experience, so I got into the archery soccer game Knock for a good while. I began to use the Quest 2 less and less as I was transitioning from college to full-time work, but once I got the Quest 3, that interest fired up again, and this time I think even more than before. It looks like VR and AR are making huge leaps to becoming mainstream, and I'm totally here for it. I think one of those huge leaps is Dungeons of Eternity. There hasn't been a VR dungeon crawler quite like this one before, and I wouldn't be surprised if people are getting into VR solely for the experience that this game brings. I could go on and on about every reason you should get Dungeons of Eternity if you don't already have it, but that could be a whole video in and of itself. Uh, I've played hundreds of video games on many different platforms casually and competitively, and this is definitely my favorite one. I will wrap up this intro video by mentioning that I have always loved watching live videos of games that I enjoy with personalities that I like, whether they're big names or in a more niche realm. Right now, VR is a niche within gaming, and Dungeons of Eternity is a niche within VR, so again, I am not expecting viewers. However, I do hope that some people will enjoy watching my content, and that hopefully as much as I enjoy creating it. Feel free to keep up to date on my Dungeons of Eternity journey, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.